Let's do it. Makeup by Ario. He has given us inspiration with this look. Let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna start with clean canvas, but I'm actually gonna use the shade medium, and it's gonna be a little bit closer to my skin tone because there's a lot of warmth in that eyeshadow look that Ariel did. So we're already gonna start with a little bit warmer base. Also, make sure that you leave your eyeshadow primer brush out. We're gonna need it later. You're gonna see why, but don't put this away. Leave it out. Okay, but I'm gonna show you using mostly affordable products. And we're actually already starting with this. I know, you probably thought we were gonna do eyeshadow first. We're actually gonna start with an eye pencil. This one's from Myra Cosmetics, super affordable, and I love these. And we're just gonna go ahead and run that along our lash line, tap it out this way, it does not have to look perfect. We just have to have an, a base first for what we're about to lay down. And all of that smudgy goodness actually starts with an eye pencil first. Also keep in mind that there's eyeshadow base underneath here. That means this isn't going to set as fast and we're gonna be able to blend it so much easier. So I'm not sure if this would be the palette that was used because the tones aren't this warm. They're more here, but there's only this shade. This one's kind of cool, but not cool enough. So I don't think that that was the palette that was used. These actually feel like more of the tones. I love these palettes. We're gonna use these. Susie's, this just goes to show you, I'm not looking for a Kylie Cosmetics repost. <laughs> We also need a black eyeshadow too, so I'm gonna grab from this. I could use this, but again, those seem very, very warm. We're gonna grab the black eyeshadow here on an E27, and we're just gonna start to press that right on top. Press it really. Try to press it as much as you can into the lash line, and press it out this way. This is the part we do not need to worry about. That can be as messy take it down to there that can be messy we got to clean that up later this brush for detail work it's on another level if you don't have this yet do your makeup a favor I'm telling you it's a spicy one okay but you have to trust the process yeah have to trust it so now I'm gonna grab this palette this is from I don't even know how do we say it is it just give I don't this is the Danger Zone palette, and I went ahead, burp, 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 I went ahead and grabbed the darkest shade here. I was making sure I had the right palette. It's chaos. It's absolute chaos. And we're going to start to transition now. So we're going to start to tap that right above the black. Tap it over this way, picking up more. Remember, it's always better to build than to pick up too much. Keep tapping. Now we're gonna to start to take it up this way. Now we're gonna hop over to a simple kind of live palette and we are gonna grab this little bit warmer shade. And the reason we're gonna do that is when we start to blend these blacks, they're going to turn very gray. And as I was looking at Kylie's picture, she has a lot of bronzer through here. Let me. So you'll see through here on Kylie, it's very, very warm. And you'll see that it's cool here and cool here. And you'll also see that I've added a little bit, a little bit of that, but it's not taking away that kind of cool tone that makes this look really, really stand out. But what it is doing is it's adding a little bit more balance. So we need a touch of warmth to kind of add balance to where we're going. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this shade, still kind of cool tone. It's not a very warm brown like that other palette that I showed you. And what I'm gonna do is just start to tap through here. You can see that it's starting to take shape and not be terrifying. We're still gonna add more depth later, but for right now, we're just gonna take our time and start to tap this color over this way. And I switch to an E28 so we can start to really set this area. Look how smooth that looks. So we'll have to finish through here later with our bronzer, but for now, we're back into this palette. This is the Danger Zone, and I'm grabbing that shade on an E27, and we're just gonna lightly shade through here. We're gonna come back and clean this up, and I get ready for that, because she has like a really pretty apricot shade on her lid. All right, now let's just kind of shade. I've been doing this a lot lately, shading right through there. Once we get our bronzer going, we'll be able to blend that together. 
Okay, this is one of the reasons I said to keep this around. So there's gonna be enough eyeshadow base on here to kind of clean up on our lid. We don't wanna take it up too high. C31 is perfect for this. Perfect, see that really pretty definition there still? Take it over this way. Okay, now let's go find our lid color. Okay, so I actually grabbed this shade and it seemed to be absolutely perfect. So we'll just press that onto our lid. We're getting somewhere. We can't really do our final shading until we get our foundation on them. Okay, so we're adding more depth to the lash line because we're almost to the good part, y'all. Almost to the good part. Okay, grab your micellar water. Mm-hmm, grab that. Grab your C30. Go right into the micellar water. And then we're gonna clean this up. Look how easy that is. Her eyes really lifted, so we're gonna really lift it up here. So we're gonna do the Marlboro Cosmetics liner on the top and bottom. It kind of just helps to shut your eye and roll it back and forth. So I'm pretty sure Kylie has lash extensions, but they're not very heavy, so I'm just gonna do mascara. I'm gonna use this mascara because it's my favorite and it's so affordable. So this is from Essence, it's Double Trouble, and this is the waterproof version. I feel like that looks like what she has going on. And I know that I used not affordable palettes. Cool tones are kind of hard to come by and more affordable palettes, but everything else is gonna be affordable from here on out. Please forgive me. Okay, I am gonna be using this foundation, the Sephora Best Skin Ever, but I'm testing something and y'all can't see it. Please forgive me. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I applied just a smidgy of Peach Corrector. This one's from EXA. I applied a little bit of that underneath my eyes before we do concealer. Anytime I wear very, very dark eye makeup, even though I don't have a lot of darkness underneath my eyes, these very cool tones, blacks, they bring out darkness. So a touch of peach corrector really balances that. I'm gonna grab my Sephora collection. This is their gel concealer. And we're just gonna use a little bit of that. I don't feel like I need a lot of concealer today like I would have needed it under my eyes, but that's where correct. I'm gonna work this in with my Anissa Beauty Angle Concealer Brush. Okay, so we're trying out a new powder and it's affordable. Well, more affordable. Definitely more affordable than the Givenchy. This one's Sephora Collection. And it's not pink, but to be honest, Carly's under eye doesn't look pink. <gasps> Whoa, that's really pretty. And I do, I am using the Beauty Blender one, but only because this one was the only one I have clean. I do not love this one more than the Amazon ones. It's just what I have. That looks so nice. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more. And we'll set here. I'm excited, y'all. I think we just found something. Look how nice and blurry that looks. Now let's do this side. Actually, y'all know what I say. This has been sitting too long. We gotta press it back in. Puff's ready. Now we can set it. That looks absolutely lovely. Yay. Now I'm not gonna say, oh, it's so much better than the Givenchy, but for how much this is, that looks lovely. Lovely, and I will be using it more. I just went and checked, this is only $15 only 15. That looks so smooth. I'm excited. Favorite bronzer and it's only $10. This one's from LA Girl. We'll apply this with our C40. It doesn't look like she's that bronzed. It looks like there's more blush, but the blush is going to go all the way through here. It's the little things that I for detail. We're going to take our bronzer, taking it on the E29, which I call the finishing brush. Remember, everything is set. So I'm not gonna swipe back and forth maniacally, but I am just gonna sweep it through here and into the brow a little bit as well. That looks exactly like what she has on. Now we can take whatever's left and just gently sweep it through here. Perfect. 
Now I'm gonna take this shade on an E27 and I'm just going to press that underneath here. Smudge that up. Bless you, Jean Bean. Oh, my little squeezy boy. He needs a kiss now. We're gonna grab an E26 and some black eyeshadow and we're gonna extend just the top part of the inner corner that looks extended. So it looks like she has on Spice Lip Liner, but we're gonna do more more cosmetics because it's more affordable. This is Sunrise Chic, and it's basically the same color as Max Spice. That was Max Spice right there. We got dupes. By the way, we're gonna use another lip liner, but this looks like kind of the base of what she has going on. And then we're gonna use a deeper, kind of cool tone brown to shade. And then we're gonna take the shade Caramel Beige, also from Myra Cosmetics, and we're going to shade. By the way, I just took that first lip liner and just kind of went across my lips. It doesn't look like she has lipstick on and it doesn't even look like a matte lipstick. It just looks like lip liner. Okay, this blush, I have it on here. It looks like the exact color she has on. These are very pigmented. This is from Myra Cosmetics as well. And she has it kind of through here, all the way, which I kind of like. And I think it's really fun to see Kylie in a different... Okay, I think we're done. I love the look with no lashes. That way it doesn't hide any of that beautiful shading. So she actually had a little bit more shading, so I just grabbed that E26 that should already have black eyeshadow on it from where we extended here. And I just shaded right there. Look at that. Look at that. All right, we're done. This was fun. I have done very similar looks to this before, so if you want to see those as well, just check my saved highlights. But this is this is classic. This is so spicy. I love it. I'll save it to my highlights. I'm going to hop off now because I do too many slides, and then it gets deleted. Chaos. I love you all. Let me go edit this little video. I'll have all of the details listed, and I'll see y'all in the comments tonight.